What's going on, everybody? I'm not too sure what day I'm posting this video because I got so much to get done here. Um, just got back from the card show. I didn't record because I only had two hours in there, but I'll still do a separate video to show you guys what I picked up. But let's show some whatnot stuff or whatnot. Wow! It shows I'm not even with it today. Some PSA came in. I had to get it picked up before two today, so my time. Um, this was an economy order about. Six, seven weeks. Joey will correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was six or seven weeks to come back. A lot of this stuff you guys have seen. So, Mr. Francisco Lindor, gold vinyl, got this in a trade. Um, it was kind of like the fill gap piece. Number two out of five. Two out of five. I know. I know it's Panini Baseball. I got it. But somebody out there loves Lindor. Uh, value probably about a hundred, maybe I'd say on it, maybe 125. I don't know without really doing comps. I know some people always ask, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I figured it was not going to get a 10, and this is why I have to look at my notes. There's just a little bit of white up here, it was a hanger, <laughs> a white hanger. All right. Pug is underneath me, so if you guys hear her, <clears throat> she's ecstatic because I'm finally home. All right, guys, pick this up off my buddy. Bought it. He you know, he does not grade. He always has really good, clean cards. Um, I expected a nine because of this corner up here onto it. A little bit of waiting. But Steve Young from 1999 autograph. On card. Preferred signatures. And I'm trying to remember what the 401 was because no, I think that's what the card, of the autograph number is. It's 401 out of something. I think 999 or something. I don't know. I can't remember because this was out of the set and I had to look this up and it threw me all off. Hmm. Can't remember. But still, um, probably around $200 for this card, roughly. Really nice, happy. Cannot complain about it at all. The one card I was really hoping with 10. And these are not in any kind of order. I just literally took them out of the boxes and we're going through them together. I already knew the grades. Stained Glass Curry PSA 9. These are going around 220. I expect these to go up a little bit. But this will be something probably on whatnot that will go on. See if I can get rid of it for about, yeah, hopefully around 200. 200 is pretty much what I paid, plus the grading and a little bit of, maybe a little, maybe I can go get me a two $5 foot logs at the end of it. All right, we tend to Durant. Tend to Durant stained glass. Really happy on this. Sorry that he didn't make it further in the playoffs, but I still think Durant is the MVP himself. Uh, now, I've, he should have went further. Um... It deeper. You got to think, and I'm a big fan of Durant, and uh, the reason behind it is because he carried Team USA this year, this last Olympics. He was he was Team USA. Alfonso Davies picked this up a while back at that uh, Capital City card show. I just haven't took a while for me to grade it. It's the Aqua Speckle Refractor. Mer this is out of Merlin. Um, Alfonso Davies. I think this was numbered. Yep, out of 175. Something to hold on to. If I'm right, I think this dude's out with some kind of illness. Now, I can't remember if it was Alfonso Davies or if it's Camavinga. Hmm. This card here I wanted to razz, uh, probably for about 30 bucks or so. Henry Davis Blue. Out of Bowman's Best. PSA 10. My guess, I'm just guessing on this is out of 150. I'm guessing maybe 250, 300 it's worth. I don't know until I look this stuff up, to be honest. But I know some people always ask what the values are. I try to throw in whatever I think they might be. I could be way off, too. All right, guys. As I predicted, this was going to be a 7 SP game use. Carmelo, uh, 30 out of 30. The autograph's really nice on this. Consider it did go off sticker a little bit uh, right down here. It's one of his cleaner autographs. You got to swatch it. It is from 0708. And let me just clean this off a little bit. I'm going to show you guys how much whiting it takes for a 7. 
So that way you guys can know when they say something's near mint, this is why. Let me get the focus. Pretty clean. You got a little bit of whiting there in the edges, as you can see. Corner. Right above the right shoulder. Down there you had some whiting. And then the back was super whiting up there. Same with the blue. Just in case people are grading, this just gives you an idea where a 7 puts you at. Whiting. So, a 7 with this, I'm still looking probably about buck fifty, I would say, around for this card offhand. It's older, it's going to be harder to get this stuff in 9s and 10s. To me, like an 8 would have been like, ah, uh, type deal. Um, 7, I'm not going to complain on, though, for Carmelo Auto. It's now encapsulated where it deserves to be at now. And that's just for one of the biggest reasons why I did it. It just needed to be encapsulated because I knew if I had sold it, it had been fumbled around more and just gotten worse condition. All right, you guys remember these last two. I picked these up with the Lindor and that Carmelo all in the same show. Kobe got an eight, just as predicted. These thicker cards from like. 10 years plus ago to get an 8 on is really good to find them raw, in my opinion. My guess, I don't know, probably about 200 for this. It's numbered out of 299. And just like if you think about this, I know with the ultra modern, everybody's like, oh, it's like a little bit like a right around base or well, raw. When you start thinking this older stuff, like, you got to start figuring there's not going to be a lot of 9s and 10s. It's like the 80s and the 70s stuff. It's going to get more than raw. Now, $299. Pick that up. I know I bought that off the, somebody. I think it was for 80 bucks. Maybe 70 I cannot remember now. And this came with the deal with my buddy. I got to pick between the two. He had two of these. And this was with the deal with the Steve Young Auto. Eight. Really cool on this. Kobe, LeBron, and McGrady triple jersey. I like this one because the other one he had was two red jerseys pieces here, and I wanted a different color. So really cool. Out of, uh, like I said, SPX winning triple materials, Kobe, LeBron, and McGrady. A lot of people forget about McGrady. I guess if you didn't watch him play, you wouldn't have known. But really happy. I, I pretty much was sure this was going to be a dead solid eight. Same with the Kobe. Um, the only one, did I, I think there was only one card I did. Oh, I called the Curry. I thought I figured it was going to be a nine or a ten, but I let more towards ten. Yeah, it was really the only one I was off on out of this order. Um, again, cannot complain for economy of $50 per. Um, for anybody, it's looking like profit-wise, probably... Uh, definitely a good chunk. I might be close to a thousand in profit here, just thinking about it. Um, no, I, I'd probably say around seven to eight hundred, because I forgot to think about grading on a couple of these, being at fifty dollars a piece. I'm doing it in my head, but not bad overall. The big order will be here on Wednesday. I will try to get that video out for you guys on Thursday. This is a really busy week coming up for me, guys. Just everybody's tracking. Um, I might not get the emails and messages as quick as possible, so I at least want to put this out. Uh, Wednesday, I have all-day training for work. Thursday, I have appointments, and then my mom is coming in, so i got to be on, like, standby that day. Plus, Wednesday, I have to pick up PSA. Thursday, i got to drop off uh, big orders at uh, UPS, so it's kind of crazy with a lot of stuff going on. Friday, I got some uh, chores to do around the house because uh, we got spring coming up plus derby prep because derby's on Saturday. I'll be hitting the Richmond show and then on whatnot again live Saturday night. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit busier this week. So if you do message me, it may take a little bit to get back. It's not that I'm not paying attention. Um, if you don't get a response like in two days from me, just hit me again. 
Best thing I can say, because I might have had so many messages and I'm replying back, I might have, like, double-clicked type deal and sent you by mistake to uh, I already replied, pal. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good week. And I'll catch you guys next video.